yo, 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 it's day two. Today's grunt work. It's issue grunt work. I'm in here, I'm on my phone because I need to read out what I'm going to do. So I'm in here for literally like 35 minutes or something. And I'm literally doing, one second, where is it? I'm doing, it's, I'm basically doing an AMRAP. So I'm doing this workout, as many, not as many rounds as possible, no. It's just as fast as possible as fast as possible. I'm gonna complete it without trying to take a break. So I'm doing 10 pull-ups, 20 dips, 30 tire flips, that's long, cause that tire is heavy. 30 tire flips, 40 press-ups, 20 dips, 10 pull-ups, done. I'll read it again. 10 pull-ups, 20 dips, 30 tire flips, 40 push-ups, 20 dips, 10 pull-ups, then finished. It's gonna be a fast work, well, it's not gonna be fast. I don't know how long it's gonna take me. I'll see, but I'll talk after because I actually need to start it because I need to leave here soon. Ooh, I'm scared, but let's do this, man. I know I can do it. It's going to be hard, but I know I can do it. Guys, with the chalk here, they always say shake it and then just don't put a lot on. There, they say, they say a pea size. I wore this jumper yesterday because it's a bit dirty, so if I get dirt on it, it's calm then I'll wash it, you get what I'm saying? But yeah, so I put a pea size on, let it dry. As you can see, as you can see, as it turning white, 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 wait for it. And then we're gonna start, it's gonna be hard, but let's do this. I'm gonna time it on the stopwatch, looks good. Twenty dips. Let's go. Eleven.
como... Guys, I'm genuinely happy with that workout. I pushed hard. It took me 23 minutes, I timed it. Obviously, I cut out the bits where I was breaking because you don't need to see it. I might put music over it. Obviously, I'm saying it at the end of the video that I might put music over it, but yeah, I might put music over it. It was hard, man. I literally, I felt it, especially on the press-ups. Fam, my press-ups, they're not the best in it. I have a long way to go in the press-ups. Pull-ups, they felt fine. I was just heavy, as usual, dips. That was probably the easiest out of them three. The tire things wasn't that hard. I wanted it to burn my legs more, so I was trying to squat down more, but it wasn't, it just wasn't burning enough. So, yeah, but I'm not gonna complain and say it was bad. I just wanted it to burn more. Maybe I should have jumped, I don't know. But next time I will learn and improve. Yeah, guys, I'll finish the video when I come back home. But yeah, I didn't finish, I didn't do the full um, 20 dips and 10 pull-ups at the end because I'm not gonna lie after the sixth pull-up or fifth I can't remember my I can even feel it now holding the phone my arms my back feel like is gonna cramp my arms was smoked there was issue and if I did it I would have done the worst form or the worst whatever so I was like you know what it's not that deep but yeah guys I didn't even want to come today I'm gonna be so honest I didn't even want to go today but that's a whole nother conversation which I'm gonna talk about when I come back but I'm rushing right now so I'll see you guys, not I'll see you guys, I'll see you guys in a few hours and I'm finished doing what I need to do, then I'll finish the video. But right now, in a bit. All right, calm, I'm back home. So guys, the reason why I called the video grunt work is because it's just work that needs to be done. That's basically, it's the basics and you have to do it. You get what I'm saying? If you want to become good at anything, it's the basics and you have to do it. It's that simple. No matter where it is, if you want to become good at something, do the bit. Fam, football, tennis, cricket, hockey, whatever it is. If you like genuinely want to become good at something, running, anything, you have to practice the basics. Like when you're talking about running, yeah, it's easy to talk about that because you have people that on TikTok or whatever that want to literally run a marathon or a 10K or this or that or that. So they go and do it without actually training. Yeah, they might complete it, but fam, you should hold yourself to a certain standard. Do you get what I'm saying? You don't want to just complete something to just complete it. Do you get what I'm saying? You want to complete it to a high level. So if I was to run a marathon, yeah, I could go and run one right now. Yes, I'm not in no shape to run it because I, ha I, I know what I would want to be like to run a marathon. But even if I did it now, I could walk half of it, run a bit, walk, run a bit and just complete it. Then go and post, yeah, I completed a marathon, I did a marathon, blah, blah. But to me personally, that's not completing a marathon. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, I think, I feel like if you're doing something like that, it's about the time. Yeah, fair enough. It's a massive accomplishment. Don't get me wrong, because it is. But the truth is, yeah, I feel like it's been watered down so much that it's not that deep anymore. Like, for example, yeah, you have people that would run like a 10K or something and say you're doing a normal time, whatever. But then go and cuss everyone else. Oh, look at them struggling to do this. Look at them struggling. Oh, you can't do that. You can't. But then you look at them and you're thinking like, fam, you barely, you barely completed it. And you're there talking about other people. Do you get what I'm saying? But, and it's even like, like the marathon, for example. Yes, a lot of people can complete a marathon because you could walk most of it. But that should never be in your head. If you do something like that, you want to run and you want to hold yourself to a certain standard. 
even if it's a standard that you're thinking to yourself, oh, that's impossible. How am I meant to run that? Me personally, I feel like it should be like that. Same as calisthenics now. If I'm doing calisthenics, yeah, I need to master pull-ups, press-ups. Well, I'm not really going to say squats because that's a bit different for me. So pull-ups, press-ups, dips, chin-ups, the basics, grunt work. Man, it mastered that, then move on. Not go to the outdoor gym and try to do... 10 muscle ups with no training and jump up over the bar and say I completed a muscle up no I didn't I literally flew off the floor and managed to get over it do you get what I'm saying you want to be able to control everything you're doing that's why if you've realized that yesterday when I posted the video and even maybe the last few videos that you've seen I only put um the pull-ups I'm doing is with my legs bent in backwards a bit because I don't have the strength yet to have completely locked out straight legs. Do you get what I'm saying? I literally don't have the strength yet. And that's another thing. Yes, I could do it. Like, I could do it, but I just wasn't good at it. And even deep, yeah, this video now that I'm posting, when I'm doing the pull-ups, look at how after two, I start wobbling. Because, again, I don't have the strength to be able to literally go up. I mean, yeah, up, down, up, down, up down without going up down and then up down and whoa whoa then up down do you get what i'm saying again grunt work the more i practice the better i become dead hangs all of that stuff you literally have to do the basics but a lot of people want to skip the basics and get to the good bit and then like feel like when it's not working the good bit they're like oh this is so hard no it's because you skipped the basics it's like it's like I don't know, man, but a lot of people, if if you play a sport, you'll understand what I'm saying. Because I play tennis, innit? Yeah, I can play tennis to a decent level. Yeah, I'm good. I'm not I'm not dead, innit? So it's like when I'm playing, the only way I became good was literally by practicing the basics over and over and over again. Then yeah, I could move forward. Do you get what I'm saying? I couldn't go onto the you can't go into a tennis court and expect to smash the ball or like hit an amazing shot or backhand cross court volley smash drop shot slice whatever without practicing for years beforehand. Do you get what I'm saying? Obviously, tennis is probably one of, is one of the hardest sports to become good at, not to to learn to become good at. So it's that's different in it. But in general, it goes like that for a lot of sports. Like people just skip the basics and then run off and try to do the good bit when it don't work they give up and try to change to another sport saying that wasn't for me but you skip the grunt work man you can't skip that no matter if you want to do it or not you have to do it you can't skip it you literally cannot skip it like yeah grunt work is so important i'm not saying oh do every session and make it as boring as possible no you can mix it up but don't try advance if you know you're not advanced yet do you get what i'm saying so for example me um in the outdoor gym yes i can mix up the workouts like i did today i literally did pull-ups dips press-ups and the tire flips and i did it as fast as i can without stopping that's a workout i mixed it up i could tomorrow when i go i could do some chin-ups wide grip pull-ups squats and some other stuff basic stuff just make it fun do you get what i'm saying challenge myself oh i'm gonna complete 15 pull-ups in this amount of time let me see how long it takes me to complete 100 pull-ups or whatever do you get what I'm saying? But if I go there and my mindset is, oh, when am I going to be able to do a muscle up? When am I going to be able to do a muscle up? When am I going to be able to do a muscle up? But the more I say that to myself, deep, do, being able to do a muscle up is hard. What percentage of the people that work out or whatever can do a muscle up? So if you're in the gym scene, when am I going to be able to do a muscle up? And you clock that it takes years or whatever to be able to do one muscle up and you've clocked after five months, mate, nothing's improving. I can't even do a muscle up yet. Then you give up. But fam, you shouldn't have given up because it takes time. That's why that hard stuff, forget about it for now. Just focus on like the stuff that needs to be done. Do you get what I'm saying? Yes, fam, I would love to be able to do iron cross on the rings, ring dip bar, I mean ring dips, ring muscle ups, muscle ups, close grip muscle ups, all of that stuff. But that's not happening yet. Until I lose weight, get lighter, get in better shape and stuff. Fam, that's not happening yet. Do you get what I'm saying? Even like with me skipping. I'm sk literally skipping to break a sweat, obviously. But I need to skip. It's a good exercise to get lighter on your feet. And just lose weight in general. Plus, adding that with calisthenics. Mate, workout. Good workout. And the thing is, I've skipped for years. When, Because, guys, I don't think you understand. There was a point in time. Maybe... 
2018, 19, I was ripped. As in, not saying like, not ripped as in, oh yeah, I had a small six pack and I was ripped. No, I was ripped. Like as in, like as in ripped. Shoulders, triceps, veins on the outside of my bicep. Like I was done for. Do you get what I'm saying? So I know I can get back there. Do you get what I'm saying? Obviously, yeah, it's going to take a lot of work or whatever, but I know I can do it. 100% I know I can do it. I know I can do it. And yeah, skipping has, has always been a big part of my fitness, but I stopped for ages. But can you see? Obviously, I know how to skip. I just need to start again because I'm good at skipping in it, but I need to get lighter. The only way I'm going to get lighter is by skipping, by eating better and doing some things in it. But yeah, man, guys, I'm going to keep grinding. Make sure you keep grinding. Don't stop grinding. We're trying to hit 10K. Grunt work. You can't skip it in a bit.